start. Uh, in this video, we will be uh, discussing about the experiment on rotary air compressor. And before starting, let's see one of the major parameters. The horsepower of the compressor is 10.5. The RPM is 2850. It's a two-stage intercooler, cooled uh, type rotary air compressor. Staging means simply like there will be first stage, there will be a compression will be happen. And there will be next stage also further compression will be happen for more uh, efficiency. So let's see what are the major components of a rotary air compressor. Uh, here we can see two compressors. It's for a multi-staging purpose. Okay. So, uh, and this is the compressor and there is an intercooler is provided. The purpose of intercooler is to cool the whatever after the first stage this is the first stage compressor after once the compression is happened the compressed air is supplied to the intercooler uh, in, at the intercooler it is further cooled with the help of a water circulation it is circulated through water and then it will be taken out to the second stage compressor through this place you can see from the intercooler there is an outlet and it is going to the second stage there will be another uh, rotary compressor and further compression is happening so uh, the amount of compression will be more due to the multi-staging purpose and we can take out uh, the discharge through this particular valve by regulating and there is also a, what are the different pressures output pressures we can uh, calculate through using the engages uh, so in total uh, these are the major components and basic working principle of rotary air compressor so we will be getting output through this delivery valve and there are some more components in the particular system like intercooler we discussed, compressor, the multi-staging we have discussed, then there will be a safety valve is provided. So here we can see that this is the safety valve mechanism. If excess pressure is uh, happens, what happens? The excess uh, compressed air will go into this particular setup. Here we can see a dead weight we have put over there. Then the, the particular pressure increases, what happens? This weight lifts and the excess air will be discharged to the atmosphere. That is the safety valve mechanism over here. Changing the weight of the dead weight, we can regulate uh, what amount of pressure that it has to be uh, scavenged out to the atmosphere. So this is our safety valve mechanism. And when we starting the, before starting, we have to open it fully. Like what we done through in a reciprocating compressor, the delivery valve has to be fully open. Otherwise, the pressure will be quite higher. There might be some chance of accident or something. But safety valve is there, nothing will happen. And as you can see, the air will be sucked from atmosphere. There is an air filter is provided. From the atmosphere, the air is sucked. Then it is go to the first compressor. The compression happens. Then it is go to the intercooler. It further cooled. Density increases, and more compressed. Volley will go to the second second stage, second compressor, and we will be getting the output through here. This is the basic working principle and major components of a rotary air compressor. 